Shannon and Andrew, this has been a central theme in opening statements and throughout testimony today. Was this an accident or was this intentional? That selfie is documentation of the aftermath of this. It shows Maxwell Morton, police say, posing for a selfie as Ryan Mangden lay behind him after he was shot. Again, we do want to warn you that this is a graphic photo and that selfie, this picture, shows the defendant, Maxwell Morton, smiling with Ryan Mangan in the background. The district attorney is arguing that this shooting was premeditated, that Maxwell Morton's actions and statements to police after are an example of that. However, Morton's defense attorney says it wasn't, that this was an accident and Morton and Mangan were friends. It was the mother of a boy in Wisconsin who Morton met playing video games who originally told her, uh, told police in Jeanette about the selfie that was sent to her son. That led police to Morton's house and he was able to tell police what happened and where the gun used was. Morton originally told police he and Mangan were playing around with the gun and that he wanted to take a picture looking down the barrel. That's when he shot Mangan. Again, whether it was an accident or intentional is the key part of this case. The lead detective says when he interviewed Morton in the presence of his parents right after the search and right before he was arrested, the detective said that Morton had a little smirk on his face and said that he didn't really care either. However, we learned that that conversation was not recorded and that several detectives, though, reported hearing him say that it, that Morton originally did tell police also that this was accidental. So conflicting elements coming out in court today, something that the defense attorney will certainly talk about as he begins to prevent uh, present his case here in the coming days. We're live in Greensburg. David Kaplan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.